on a bed of hot rice a chicken and potato with coconut curry and flavoring of shrimp yes you know using dry shrimps also we make excellent gravies in lot of cooking i use raw prawns make a paste in the and then make the curry the taste will be just awesome you can say mm, mm, mm. hello namaste salam alaikum sastri akal welcome back to another session with your wash chef at wareva.com today we going to make nice chicken curry first i'm going to make the masala for this we going to use coriander seeds some red chili some cumin seeds first we going to slightly dry roast these ingredients once you get this nice aroma coming in this we going to add some dry shrimp and just switch off the flame and slowly roast it this is going to be the masala that is flavoring our chicken curry today with fresh coconut and this is going to taste super awesome and in lot of thai cooking also they use shrimp powder to flavor it even in chicken they do and it works really good so now this is all done I'm going to let it slightly cool down put this in a blender and make this very flavorful masala you can make many vegetarian items and lot of other things with this and the curries will be good especially for the non vegetarians little bit of that aroma will give the required kick masala is all ready so let's start cooking add oil in the pan add whole garam masala clove cardamom cinnamon bay leaf and in this add finely chopped onion you don't have to brown it just saute it a little bit in this add ginger garlic paste mint leaf turmeric and saute it the mint has unique ability to retain awesome flavors even after frying well in this add finely chopped tomato some green chili saute it with this onions for 2 minutes i'm going to add lot of chicken because i'm going to eat lot of it and let these chicken pieces cook for few minutes in this add water put the lid on and let the chicken cook for few minutes now the chicken is cooked for few minutes we going to add some potatoes now we going to cook this till these potatoes are also almost cooked that's when we going to add some coconut and cashew nut paste so here i've got some cashew very little coconut and make this into a paste this is going to give this excellent taste and also you can also add coconut milk if you want that will also give nice taste then this masala is what is going to flavor this chicken curry this is excellent you can have it with uh, you know on bed of rice and it will be so tasty now when the potatoes are like almost 3/4 cooked in this we going to add the coconut and cashew nut i've added in this so this will give that nice uh, flavor for this but the real flavor will come with the masalas what we have roasted so now look at this chicken nicely slowly the color has changed and lot of thai chicken curries also you know look like this nice gravy lot more water than this but if you want you can add some more water to this but for me i think this should be good enough i'm just going to let this cook for another 3 minutes and add the masala and finish it in another 2 minutes after that is still not perfect because we haven't added the masala in this add adjust the salt and the masala powder be careful this is very strong so add little first then mix this beautiful the aromatic nice chicken curry is ready so let me in this we going to add some chopped coriander and just one more minute and switch off the flame usually this nice thin gravy is wonderful laugh look at this pour lot of this gravy and one piece of maybe little more of chopped coriander and perfect to eat not just once hundreds of times thousands of times i burned my mouth and with this hot gravy along with this rice that will be just awesome and you have to eat it like how rasam and rice you eat with this gravy hot hot don't burn my mouth mm absolutely flavorful you try this masala what i made you can say mm 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 when the chicken is so good mm 
today we are going to learn how to make this biryani masala sabji. So basically we are going to add some vegetables and that too not many. Just carrot, paneer and some capsicum, onion and tomato. And we are going to toss it and this is going to be super tasty. For making this first add some oil in a pan. In this we are going to add some cumin, some kalonji and onion. So add some salt. Let this onion saute for a minute. In this, add some turmeric, some ginger garlic paste, mix all of this. Very fast and easy to cook, yet you want the vegetables to be cooked perfectly. Among the vegetables what we are cooking, the carrots will take longer time. So we are going to add carrots. And even though they have been cut into nice slices, you still want them to be slightly cooked more. And always we talk about colourful vegetables. The more colours you add, the more nutritious your food is going to be. Add little bit of coriander powder, some cumin powder, we are going to add some green chilli. Once this gets sorted, in this we are going to add paneer pieces. I have cut the paneer pieces also into small pieces. In this add some yogurt and mix along with this and that will add some moisture to this recipe. Not only that, when we add the biryani masala to this, it will give a very nice aroma. Little bit of thickening. Here is a cashew nut powder, so add a little bit of uh, cashew nut powder that will give a kind of consistency to the gravy. You can also add a little bit of water and bring this to a boil. Before we add the vegetables, we are going to add the biryani masala. You know, you can use the store bought masala. I am using my homemade biryani masala, but do not add too much, just right. So now look at the curry, nice, flavorful. In this, Add mint leaf, the biryani flavor. Now you will start getting that nice biryani aroma in this sabji. In this add onions, capsicum pieces, tomato pieces and no more cooking. Just one more minute of cooking and add little bit of ghee on top. That should be good enough. Pause them and you have great sabji for your rotis or even with pulavs. You can enjoy this with the paneer, everything. This is nice, little bit of dry kind of sabji, but with full of colors. Look at them, nice and perfect. Just one minute of cooking and check the seasoning. I will need a little bit of salt. In the finale, add a little bit of kasuri methi powder. That should be good enough. Some fresh chopped coriander and look at the dish. Beautiful. The biryani masala curry is ready. Serve this with pulao, plain rice, chapati, anything. It will be tasting fantastic. You have to look at these beautiful colors. And with the biryani masala, these ones are just fantastic. The paneer biryani masala curry is too good. Wow. Colorful, beautiful, refreshing, full flavor. Absolutely marvelous. Very simple yet absolutely tasty. This curry, look at it, with the carrot, capsicum, onion, tomato. Mm. Simple, tasty, delicious. When there is no biryani, we can always make a nice biryani flavored curry. And this is one of the best. Mm, mm, mm. Keep cooking and keep saying vareva. Watch another Va Magic with Chef Money. <laughs>